Hi, Whitford. Welcome back to school. My name is Miss Pacheco, formerly Miss Milton, and I am the AVID coordinator for the school. AVID stands for Advancement via Individual Determination. And throughout this school year, I am going to be giving you some lessons and some strategies so that you can advance via individual determination, which basically just means that you're going to be successful because you want to work hard and you want to do well. And we're going to start off with that today with getting organized for our classes right at the very beginning of the school year. So we have four talking points today. One, what are we talking about? What are we doing today? Two, why are we talking about this? Three, how are you going to choose the binder or organizational system that's going to work best for you? And then four, I'm going to give you some examples and resources and websites and videos to help you get organized. Okay, so what are we talking about today? What are our goals? So goal number one, identifying which organizational method works best for you personally. And then goal number two, why did you choose that specific organizational method? Making sure that you can kind of explain why you chose that one. You're not just like randomly picking one off of the list. So that's what we're gonna do today. So. Why are we talking about this? This is a quote from A.A. A. Milne, who is the author of the Winnie the Pooh stories. And he says, organizing is what you do before you do something so that when you do it, it is not all mixed up. So part of being organized and getting organized before you actually really start in your classes, that is going to help you de-stress. It's going to help you with your mental health because then once classes really get into full swing, you're already going to know exactly what to do. So that's why we're doing this. So part three, like I said, is picking which method is going to work best for you. And in order to do that, you want to ask yourself some of these questions to figure out, like, what do you like? What is going to work best for how you work? So you might be thinking about, do you like putting your papers in one big binder? Like, is that your jam? Or did you really like the all the online resources last year and you're a tech pro? Um, do you really love Google Drive where you like to like put the separate folders and kind of organize yourself that way? Do you like writing on paper with colorful pins and highlighters? Does just one method make sense for you or will you have a few different organizational methods depending on the class? So once we go to the next slide where I'm giving you the resources, you want to be considering these questions as you're kind of choosing what's going to work best for you. So some options here, let me move my picture. Okay, some options. So there is the obvious, just typical, like big three ring binder that you would normally use with the dividers for each class. So if that's something that you like, that's what you should do. There's also what's called an e-binder, which is basically just an online binder. And there's a couple different ways that you can do this. One is Google Sites, and then another is Google Presentation. There are two links right here to videos that show you how to do that, but I'll show you what my Google site looks like. Um, and also, sorry, there's a link right there to how to get your binder organized. But let me show you what my Google site website looks like. And this is kind of my binder where I carry everything. So here's mine, I have my goal for the quarter. Um, and then this kind of walks you through how to make separate tabs and you could make a separate tab for each one of your classes and then you can keep all of your documents and assignments in here. So that's Google Sites and you can customize it, put your own pictures, so it's kind of fun. All right, the next option that might work best for you is these three prong folders. So if this is kind of your jam, maybe you have a different colored one for each one of your core classes, and then that's how you're being organized. Or maybe you like to do notebooks for your classes as well. And maybe you like this type of notebook for language arts, and maybe you like this type of notebook for science. 
there's also the Google Drive, um, which is where you're just making the folders for yourself. And there's another link right there to kind of help you get that set up. And then also considering that you might have a combination of some because like for math, having just a one inch binder that's just all your math worksheets, that might make sense. For science, having a notebook that looks like this to take notes might make the most sense. So you might be kind of mixing and matching. The biggest thing is that you start where you are, you use what you have, and you do what you can. This is by Arthur Ashe. He was um, an American tennis player, and he was actually one of the first Black tennis players to win a single division men's championship in tennis. So just whatever you've got, wherever you think you should start, just do what you can with it. So what you're gonna do either at the end of advisory today or just on your own time later today, your teacher will have already shared with you this link and you're gonna go through and just do a little reflection about whether you um, think one strategy is gonna work best for you over the other and kind of explaining why. And then at the end of this month, you're gonna go back to those answers and be like, okay, did the digital binder really work out for me? No, maybe I should try to go back to a regular one. So you're gonna have some reflection time at the end of the month. And then also your core teachers will help you figure out what's gonna work best in their specific class. So I hope this was helpful and thanks for listening.